how can we imagine the curving of space by massive objects so the standard view that that they will give you is that uh, space time is like a two dimensional sheet or fabric and you put a, a ball a ball on space on on that fabric and the and this uh, fabric of space time is curved that's how they'll show it so you were visualizing some kind of curvature of space maybe time also in two or maybe three dimensions but here is a better way of looking at it let me put this uh, image on the screen check it out so this is a more three dimensional view of how the presence of matter curves space time we are actually seeing this in three dimensions not four dimensions because the human brain is not able to visualize is not capable of visualizing a four dimensional uh you know universe we can only see three dimensions we can't visualize four dimensions at least i can't okay i'm not I'm, my brain doesn't isn't that great i can only see things things in three dimensions so imagine this was four dimensional then it would kind of work like this so that is how you can visualize or imagine the curving of space by massive objects and also how the curvature of space makes uh bends the trajectories of these massive objects the way they move